Hi everyone, I'm back with my what's in, what's up with my Filofax. I know I'm really interested in these kinds of videos. I love to see other people's planners and I get really excited to talk about school supplies. So I wanted to show you mine and I've had it since July and it's been working fabulously. I've always been a person that gets a new planner every, well I mean, some people have Filofaxes, so I won't need a new Filofax, but you know the inserts. So I've always bought like ones from Target or Barnes & Noble, and I get so excited to get a new one. But they're never exactly what I want, and that's why the Filofax is perfect. Is After using a ton of planners, I know exactly what I want, and you can make it because you can do the inserts. It has a three-ring binder system, kind of. It's actually six rings. So I know what I want. And I got it finally. This is the best thing that's happened to me. I love my planner. I take it everywhere with me. I pull it out in class. I'm a little bored. I just stare at it. What I have to do next. I'm obsessed. So let's just get into it if you don't mind. I'm not sure how to film things the best yet. This is like my second video. So I will take the camera and just point it down. I'm trying to think for a second. Is that going to be best? I think it will be. So let me just grab the camera and I'll show you. Okay, so this is my Filofax. It is an A5 size Finberry and it retails about $99, I think. So it is quite the investment, but it is real leather. And I don't know, it's just the best brand that I've found. You can find um, sort of like a knockoff type at Target and Office Max, but it's not the Filofax. I'm sure you could put those inserts in here as well, so check them out if you'd like. I will put the link below to the Finsbury's, but I believe this color is Antique Rose and it is not on the site right now, currently. So, I don't really know what size an A5 is. It definitely not a real binder, a true binder. This is my MacBook, which is a 13 inch. And it is not as big as that. It's pretty comfortable. If you have a big bag, it could fit inside. So let me open it up. I have to learn to do the one-handed stuff here. So right when you look inside, there is card slots here and also a zippered pocket. There's a flap here and a pencil holder, a pen holder on each side. So typically, sorry, I have the strap to this. I'm really sorry about cheeky stuff. Okay, so typically I have a pencil and a pen. I don't know where my pen is. I don't usually have anything here unless it's pressing, like a little dentist reminder. I had my dentist reminder. He hands out stickers, but I didn't have my January inserts yet, so I kept it in there until I got it. And I like to keep this as clean as I can, but I have my boyfriend's school schedule because <laughs> I like to know what he's up to, I guess. So, and I'm not used to his schedule yet because school's just started. So, I keep it there for quick reference. I also keep things like invites or RSVPs. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. to get used to this. So, I keep invites and things in there. So things I have, I have to reply to that by January 31st. So, I'm, you know, it's everyday reminder. It's not just shoved somewhere else. I can kind of see it peeking out. Then, there's an overlay type plastic sheet, which is kind of, at first, I didn't really care about it. It comes with it, but it, it is nice. Things get a little dirty and a little crinkled. So, then each semester, I make a schedule I can print them out, but I just really love to make lists and things and color code myself. So I make a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday schedule. I can see that. It's the first thing I open in my Filofax. Then we actually just joined a gym. So this is a gym schedule. If you see pink stickies, it's because I've covered up places that where I live. I'll keep my locker combination here. I haven't learned how to focus this yet. I'm really sorry if it's awful. Now we're getting into the monthly. So you can organize this however you want. Like I said, um, maybe I'll put this back up. I'm sorry for all the fidgeting. It's just that I like to talk to you guys. Okay. So I'm getting into the monthlies now. And I keep it tabbed off. So these months have already gone by, but... 
I kept them actually just because I knew I'd be making this video someday. So, as you can see, I got it in July. So, in the summertime, I just do a lot of working. I was taking a summer class, but it was not crazy like the fall and the spring. So, I just have black ink. Then once school starts, this might look a little crazy, but I began to have color coding. Now this might look crazy, but I know exactly what each color means. So it's actually quite soothing to me to know that pink is pathophysiology. If I, this was just, I felt like using any color pen, this would be really scary to me. But I know that there's a reason to it. The highlighted yellow is when I think I can pick up a work day or I might want to work, but I'm not scheduled yet. So as you just go through, that's how I typically do things, is color coding. And I write paydays in there, I write birthdays along the side. So that's the extent of the monthly. Let me just tab it back up here. These I got at Target. You can get them anywhere, but I just like this one because it's purple. Purple's my favorite color. So right after that, and I, I can't say for sure. It says on the Filofax website what comes with each binder. But I'm pretty sure your first monthly set comes with it. Then you can choose to have weekly. I opted out for that. I ordered, maybe they sent it to me anyways, whatever. I paid for the daily. I like day on a page. So this is also from December just because I wanted to show you guys. So when things get really crazy in my life, I love this page because you have from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I literally can write down every detail of my day, every class. If I had half an hour only to do something, I can write in what assignment I want to do then. It just makes me feel so much better when I can literally write down the whole day. Um, so I do that, and again with the color coding. So I might have something in the monthly, and then as soon as it hits that month, so, like, I have everything up until May for this semester as far as work schedule and school schedule when things are due. So, I won't do, I won't fill out February in here in my day-to-day -day until maybe the last week in January. So, I do that. I color code along the way. I just see what my, what's ahead for my month. Yeah. So, and then on not-so-busy days, like today... Friday. I didn't even write my full schedule because I knew I'd kind of be lazing around and stuff like that. So I wasn't really stressed out today. I had some things to do, but nothing where I had to know what I was doing at every hour. So that's pretty cool. Then I am part of um, a student organization for pharmacy on my campus. So I kind of keep this, calendars and things like that, notes that I need. I keep a section for finances. Um... I just try to map out what I need to do every month. This is like my projects tab. I know I'll organize like Jen has kind of a projects tab for her stuff. This was more in the summertime when I had more time to do things. I'm sorry if this is filmed bad. I'll refilm it if it is. Um, then I have addresses comes with it. These, these um, dividers come with it as well. I have one sheet for addresses just in case I have to jot it down. But otherwise I will most likely always keep it in my phone. And then I have a tidy tour section now, which, I don't know, hopefully it goes to good use. It has pink paper, though. I think that comes with all of them. So that's kind of cool. And then I flip the cards over, but there's um, a business card holder, which is so cool, I think, for quick reference. If you meet someone or, you know, your eye place, you always forget the number. I don't know. So then I actually bought another one, which I ended up not filling up yet. But that's good. It's available space. This is like my everything. This notepad comes in the back. I'm going to take the camera back down to show you because I love this to death. Okay, so if I had the choice, I would only have a month, like if I couldn't have a, an awesome planner like this, I would only have a monthly planner and a piece of notebook paper. So this fits in the back of my A5 perfectly. It's just a pad of paper that slips in the top. And I write one of these lists. I'm so sorry about the camera work. I write one of these lists probably two times a week. So let me get kind of close here. I start at the top. 
I don't know how to focus this, you guys. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to figure this out. But I start at the top. It says Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And then I literally just write out each of my classes. So biochemistry, professional issues, dynamics, dynamics, intro, um, pharmaceutics, pathophysiology, biotechnology, then a housekeeping section, which is kind of like make eye appointment, do little things, and then for the club on campus that I'm in. So I write down, without all the colors, I write down everything in pencil. Like, if I have a reading to do that week, I'm sorry about the focusing. If I have a reading to do that week, if I just have to review for that class, if, um... So yeah, I don't really write any tests on here. I just write what I have to do for that week, no matter what it is. Because I don't quite get the full spectrum when I'm in my day-to-day. -day. I just know what's on that day. And then it's a little overwhelming when I'm looking at my monthly. Because there's just so much and I get a little scared when I see quiz, 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 quiz. So this is awesome. So then, after I've made my full list... I go in and color coordinate the days. You can do it with highlighters too. I like to do it with highlighters. I just didn't have them available. Um, one thing I'll mention is I also write my work schedule. So I work Saturday, tomorrow, 9 to 5. So I can kind of plan to do less that day. So then I go through. Orange is Thursday. So I went through and I thought, what needs to be done by Friday? Or what can I do tonight? So that's a few things down here. Then I go on to Friday. What do I need to do this weekend to get a jump start on? print something before I left school today, and then review class notes. So you kind of go that way. You make sure you don't miss anything by the deadline because let's say something's due Monday and it's just a really quick reading. I'll probably highlight it for Sunday. And then I know I can do it any time. And then I know every day if the orange is crossed off, I've done the orange for the day, I can be done. If I'm still feeling like I want to get something done, then I'll go on to the next color, which would be yellow in this case, and I'll do something for the next day. This saves me. I just started doing this last not um, in last spring semester, and I've gone through a lot of papers. So I usually do one every four days, I'd say. Like one for the weekend, for sure. Then one for midweek, if it's a little crazy. So, I'll put you back up. Sorry for all the shakiness. I'm getting used to this. It's kind of fun to be in front of the camera now. Probably after this, I'll try to upload and then <laughs> watch more people's. So, if you have any questions, I hope I explained that thoroughly. It wasn't like a good review, it's just how I do mine. If you have more questions, please don't hesitate to ask below. Um, let me know what you think. Please be nice. And I'll see you soon.